Okay, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got some shrinkage. So we're in a new build. It's a timber frame property. It's an internal wall, so a lot of timber anyway. So today I'm going to talk you through what happens and why we get it and how we repair it. So we're bringing the camera up for shrinkage. When you buy a new build, you'll find where your walls and your ceilings meet and sometimes the internal angles on your walls they'll end up cracking and all it is timber framed house so as the house as the house is sitting and settling you get a bit of shrinkage so that's what causes them cracks so we're going to customers houses all the time they think their house is falling down it is superficial it has got absolutely nothing to do with any strength of the um, build so what I'm going to do now is show you how to do a quick repair on this so it doesn't come back. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all these loose bits. Okay, so I've sanded back and I've took away all them loose imperfections and bits that are on there. And now what we're going to have to do is get a bit of mesh tape, give it some strength. Okay, so when we apply our mesh, mesh tape, you want it going into that corner, nice and tight. What you don't want is to leave it so it's slightly beveled and it's harder to fill. So what we'll do now is we'll get a coat on top of this. We know we've got the mesh tape on, we know we've got some strength. Okay, so this filler that we're using now is an easy fill. It's a powdered filler, you just mix it up with a bit of water. I've mixed this with a bit of warm water because I want it to go off faster. So it's a nice clean roll. You can use a filler knife if you want. You want to push it into that corner, make sure it goes right into that edge. That's the bit where the crack was. And we're going into the corner and coming across. Now, if you notice, when I'm putting the filler on, I mix mine fairly stiff. Now, two reasons to do this. One is you get less shrinkage, so it won't dry and suck in as much. And two, I want it so it's coming off fast. That's why I've mixed it with warm water. And I've also made it thick. Okay, so when I put my first coat on, I'm not looking to cover everything, to cover the scrim tape and to make sure it's completely finished. It will not happen in your first coat. If this is repair that takes three coats. So your first coat is what we call a tight coat. So you want that tight to the wall. At this stage, the last thing you want to be doing is building any lumps in your walls or in your ceiling. So again, a little bit on the trowel, I'll show you now. I've literally got a fine edge on that trowel. I'm just making sure I've got it into that corner. There we go. So we know now we can leave this for 20 minutes. Our easy fill will start drying. We can come back, we can give it a second coat 
let that dry, give it a third coat and we'll get it all finished, ready for the painter. Okay, another top tip for you. So if you get a wall, and it's got shrinking on it, and it's got cracking, always check the other side, because if you've been movement, there's a good chance of the other side will be gone as well. Okay, so we've put our first coat on and we've allowed it to firm up. It's not dry, you wouldn't be able to sand it, but it's firmed up. So what we're going to do now, we're going to give it another coat and we're going to pass the first coat ever so slightly. Okay, so this is the same filler as before, and it's coming really stiff now, but I like it like that because it's going to help me get this job finished quick. So again, you put the filler on, you'll hear, once we put the first pass on, I turn the trowel on edge, and I'm ruling off. I'm trying to keep these edges as fine as I can. So again, I'll show you, rule off. That will save your understanding. Okay, we're going to do the same on this now, we're going to go past our first coat, come down with it. We need to ensure we also get it tight into that corner. Okay, so we've done our first two passes now. We're going to give that five minutes, let that firm up. I'm going to get some more dirt, we'll give it a top coat, and we'll finish it without sanding. Okay, we've got our first two coats on. It's firmed up a little bit. We're going to give it a top coat. Now, normally, I'd use a joint cement or a light pre mixed filler for this. The problem we've got today, because it's been minus seven, all the gear's gone frozen. So, I'm back with the same easy fill, and what I've done is I've just wet this up a little bit. So I've added a little bit of moisture to it, a tiny bit of water, just to make it that little bit thinner. So I'm going to come across now, I'm going to pass the first two passes, and make sure I've got it tight in that corner, and we'll get a finish on it without sanding. Like I said, you'll bear with me today. Because all my gear's been frozen. I'm having a bit of a nightmare. But we've got to get the job done. So again, I'm putting it in, to take it off what I don't need. And again, make sure you've got it into your corner. You'll see me wiggle my trowel. That's just making sure I've got it set in nice and tight. So again, I've only got a little bit of my trowel for this. that corner. We know we put mesh tape on that so that's going to give it a bit of strength. So now we're going to get a finish on it. Hey, to anyone who watches my channel you know what's coming next. We've got the medium core sponge float, bring these edges in, 
Got a little bit too much water on that, but we're not too forced. So again, bring your veggies in. Bring your veggies in. What you'll find is this is going to dry fairly fast. Because I've used the same filler, and I've got three hits out of it, I've got three passes with the same filler, this is starting to firm up now. It's actually what we call on the turn. Okay, so I've also got a couple of small brushes. First of all, a little one inch brush. Now, when you brush your corners in, you don't want to be going in at an angle like that. You want to be keeping your brush flat to your work. That's it, simple as that. So again, now I make sure I've got a decent clean trowel. I've got moisture on the blade. Come over. And that was a pass to take out any imperfections. Okay, so we've done our first pass on that ceiling. I'm just going to take this brush, make sure the veggies are still nice and clean and fine. And then again, we're going to get another pass. So first things first. Make sure I've got a little bit of moisture. Okay, now we're going to do this down bit on the wall. So again, come across, coming down, making sure I travel into that edge every time. And there we go, that's how easy it is. Now we're going to let that dry, I'm back here tomorrow, so I'll check on it just to make sure, but I'm happy. When that's painted, you won't be able to tell it's ever been there. The crack has been covered, it's got scrim tape on it, or mesh tape, it shouldn't reappear. However, I have no need to reappear. Now, it's not because the repair hasn't been done right. Sometimes you get that much movement, when the house is settling, it'll crack again, so it could end up over here, it could end up over there, it might have ended up over there, but just because you fixed it once doesn't mean it's the end of it. They normally say 12 months after you've moved into your property, then they'll come back and fix anything like this, because if you keep it coming back and coming back, it's not cost effective. So like I say, we've done the repair, all we can hope for now is the house is settled. Failing that, we'll be back, we'll end up doing other sides, just part of life. Welcome to your new build. So if you like what you've seen, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for everyone who's been watching my channel. Everyone who's subscribed, all the beautiful comments you get. Honestly, I'm feeling the love. Thank you so much, YouTube.